What power level do you need to be for Grandmaster Nightfalls and Lost Sectors? Now for Grandmasters, the answer is actually really simple. You're locked to 25 power levels under the cap. So that means you're going to want to be sitting at 18, 15 exactly. That is your maximum power level. Now for Lost Sectors, it's a bit more complicated and it really depends on what you want to get out of it. Now what it really comes down to is do you want to farm the Lost Sector for good rolls or do you just want to clear it and maybe get just one of the exotics that you're missing? You don't care about the rolls. The higher power level that you are though, the easier you'll be able to clear it in that four or five minutes all the way down to two minute time slot. So it really depends on what you want out of it. But I'll show you about how long it will take depending on what power level you are and then you can decide for yourself what power level you should be sitting at. Now to start off, we'll use my Lost Sector Guide run as a baseline. In this run, I am 1814. As you can see, my Osteo Striga is doing 1919 damage and the adds are falling over. The thing to note is how many times the Unstoppable becomes unstunned while glaving it down. This is super relevant in how long your runs are. As you can see, they become unstunned only two times, so they die pretty quick. Next is my Linear Fusion damage. As you can see, at 1814, my Linear Fusion does 36,000 damage. Finally, you're gonna wanna take note of how much damage the boss does with a direct attack. As you can see, I only take around 30% of my health. Now that we have a baseline, let's compare this to other power levels. At 1790, we lost about 22% of our power, since our Osteo Striga is now at 1513 damage instead of 1919. Similarly, our linear fusion damage went from 36,000 down to 28. The Unstoppable Champion now becomes unstunned three times instead of two. Also, at this power, we are now randomly dying to unstoppable burns, so you'll need to block for much longer before restunning them at 1790. Next, I tested 1780. As you can see, enemies now have skulls on their head, indicating we are 50 below the power level. Now I am still using 1800 weapons, so my damage barely went down. My Osteo Striga is doing 1488 down from 1513 damage at level 1790. What's really critical to notice though is how I take 70% damage from two Scion shots plus a melee. If you are running this at 1780, you will need to be very careful and play slow. For our final test, we drop down to 1760. The first thing I want to mention for this last section is that your weapon power level matters a lot. I did two runs, both at 1760. One run had a linear fusion at 1600 power, and one did it with an 1800 linear fusion. As you can see, my damage dropped all the way to 5000 from 26000. With this in mind, farming as low as 1760 is simply unreasonable, since if you are 1760, your weapons likely are too, and you will just do far too little damage. At 1760, using 1800 weapons, I cleared in 7 minutes, which is a huge increase from my 4 minute clears at 1814. Someone with 1760 weapons would likely clear in 10 minutes, so it'd just be unfarmable at that point. Also, at 1760, I am nearly getting one shot by the boss. So this power level is quite unforgiving and I don't recommend it for anyone. Now with all this info in mind, and my experience doing Lost Sectors, I have the verdict. To simply clear the Lost Sector, I recommend you be a minimum of 1780, but you should be at least 1790 to not get frustrated. To farm the Lost Sector, I recommend a minimum of 1800, but it will be harder than needed, and you should be at least 1810 to not have overextended frustrating farms. Now these results are a bit skewed, because I have 4000 hours in this game, farm Lost Sectors all day for my daily guides, I have good loadouts, and know exactly what to do. So be sure to watch my daily guide before hopping into these Lost Sectors, so that these numbers will actually work for you. Now if you found any value in this video, a subscribe would be super appreciated. I post Destiny 2 videos every day, including guides like these, and creative, entertaining content too. I also post some Pokemon content. Either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video.